Hello everyone. Today in this video, we are going to continue the remaining part of cost object controlling. So, we continue with order type for logistics. Unlike product cost controlling by period, CO and logistics use the same production order. No separate order type is required for this method unlike controlling by period where the CO and logistics orders were distinct or decoupled. Preliminary costing for controlling by order. Preliminary costing is the planned value of the order and is calculated when the order is created. Order master records can be created in several ways. Using the SAP S4 HANA GUI transaction CO01 to create a single order executing MRP and using the SAP Fiori launch pad of app create production order using any of these methods the first step is to enter a material number plant and order type and then press enter the figure shown here shows the transaction for creating orders transaction c was 01 once you press enter you cannot change the order type once the once an order quantity and other logistical requirements have been entered navigate to the control tab to verify default values from the order type as shown in the figure so from the order type it picks up the default values like costing sheet overhead key so under the order control tab as shown in the figure the default values listed in table are displayed so we can see the default values from order type are plan costing variant actual costing variant, costing sheet and RA key. Overhead key and variance key are from the material master and this is the purpose why we update those values. Here we have a small tip. The profit center defaults to the order from the material master and can be found on the assignment tab of the order. So upon saving the order, a preliminary cost estimate will be created for this cost object. You can display its itemization immediately as shown in the figure. You can verify the itemization immediately by comparing this information to the preliminary costing variant. So we can see here the goods issue confirmations, overhead miscellaneous goods receipt and all the information. So simultaneous costing for controlling by order. During this phase, logistics is reporting material quantities consumed and delivered as well as labor quantities against the logistics production order. The logistic process is the same as for controlling by period. Valuation of these quantities is posted to the production order based on the simultaneous or actual costing variant which we reviewed in the figure 6.24. You can analyze these orders using the following transactions. Production order and a transaction CO03 Process order is also under transaction CO03, production and process order. 
costed in transaction KKBC underscore ORD. The value flow for this phase of the order is unique to SAP S4 HANA. Cost elements for the transactions are derived from MM account determination, specifically in the profit and loss accounts of the general ledger. So we have a small note again here. Many legacy systems post this kind of transaction on the balance sheet. For example, Often raw materials issued to a production order are credited to the raw material inventory account and debited to the work in process inventory account. So let us look at a simple example of issuing raw materials and confirming a labor operation for a production order. So as listed in table 6.5, the order as a cost object is debited from these transactions in the GL the PNL section of the income statement is affected. So here the tip is like in SAP S4 HANA all value flows are through the PNL accounts in the GL. A PNL account number exists for each secondary cost element. Another common transaction during so if we see the simultaneous cost flow to order for consumption. So issue raw material to order. Account determination comes from MM account determination. So inventory balance sheet gets credit and material consumption profit and loss become debit. And cost object order will be debit. So labor confirmation to order secondary cost element of activity type. So the cost object labor activity allocation profit and all uh, profit and loss will become debit or credit and cost center will be credit and order will be debit. So this will be the entries for consumption of the material. Another common transaction during Simultaneous costing is a goods receipt for finished materials. As shown in another table, the order as a cost object is credited for the value of the finished quantity. Again, an offsetting entry is posted to the profit and loss account in the GL. So let us also look at an example of values that accumulate on an order during the simultaneous costing phase. So in this figure below shows an example of debits to an order from shop floor reporting and a credit to the order from finished goods received. These debits and credits all from simultaneous costing. We can see the result in the dollar forty order balance. So if we see the figures in the table it shows goods receipt of finished material simultaneous cost flow to order for goods receipt. So If we see the figure for the transact in for the transaction goods receipt of finished materials, the debit in FI will be inventory and credit will be material consumption, profit and loss. And the cost object order will be credit. And the same thing. If we see the order balance to simultaneous costing, so issue raw material to order. We have issued the $100 of raw material and labor confirmation to order is $20. Goods receipt is $80. Actual order balance still we have $40. 
final costing for controlling by order within the order life cycle postings occurring during period and close are referred to as final costing at period end additional costs not already represented in a bomb and routing can be debited to an order in sap s4 hana the following features support these periodic cost requirements template allocation a technique often used to allocate business process cost to orders revaluation at actual prices a technique to apply the actual activity price calculated as part of cost center period and close to orders that consumed those activities so overhead cost a technique used using overhead costing sheets to allocate cost to orders a common use of overhead costing sheet is to allocate incoming freight and duties or tariffs to material cost so each of these periodic cost features creates a financial posting so this final final costing tells that how the final costing is settled so with template allocation revaluation at actual prices overhead costs a technique often used to allocate business process cost to orders so in this slide we will see the figure the periodic costs which shows with the number 2 have debited the order thereby increasing the order balance so template allocation is $5 revaluation at actual prices $5 overhead is $10 actual order balance is $60 so it has increased the order balance so the, the periodic costs which we debited has increased the order balance local accounting requirements usually involve valuation of the unfinished inventory still in process at period end as well as a full reporting of variances incurred from the actual cost compared to the standard price in sap s4 hana the following features support these final costing requirements wip calculation so executes a calculation defined by the results analysis key for valuation of unfinished products so w work in process calculation executes a calculation defined by the results analysis key for valuation of unfinished products variance calculation this executes a calculation defined by the variance key for valuation of eight variance categories production orders can calculate variances or wip in the same accounting period a few settings make this possible the default rule of the order type we reviewed this setting earlier in figure must be set as pp1 full settlement in configuration you must use transaction okz3 define valuation method actual costs each of these final costing features calculates a value no financial postings occurs until settlement so the wip calculation and variance calculation both depends on the key which is assigned and production orders can calculate variances or wip in the same accounting period 
the default rule of the order type should be pp1. Work in process for controlling by order. We have learned that when posting to an order during simultaneous casting, all value flows were through the profit and loss section of the financial statements. Statutory reporting requires that any unfinished inventory or asset be capitalized at period end. The work in process calculation applies the rules we have created in configuration to each order balance and determines the value for capitalization. So mastering the WIP configuration requires time and patience because this process is one of the most complex in CO. In this book, our focus is on a solid understanding of the steps involved. So if we see this figure, it shows the configuration menu for calculating order WIP. So in product cost by order period and closing work in process, we can see the different configuration involved. So let us take a closer look at each. Define results analysis keys, a six character alphanumeric key that will be further assigned in each remaining menu option. Define cost elements for WIP calculation. This link creates GL account numbers for results analysis calculations. These cost elements must be of cost element category 31 for CO integration. Define results analysis versions. You may use this version to calculate WIP during different methods. We will describe each of these methods later. Only one version can settle to FI, version 0. Define valuation method, actual costs. By using results analysis key, you can indicate if target or actual work in process is to be calculated and specify what effect order status has on the calculation as shown in the, as shown for example in the figure. So it's in define valuation method, valuation method for work in process. So controlling area, so risk analysis, version risk analysis key, status, status number or a type, WIP calculation on basis of action. Define line IDs. Line IDs are used in a later step to separate different types of costs, costs for capitalization. In this setting, you will define a three character alphanumeric key to serve as a line ID. Examples of line IDs include material cost, labor cost and packaging cost. Define assignment. In this setting, you will bring together several pieces of this puzzle. The results analysis version and results analysis key are assigned to cost elements and line IDs. An example of the assignment table is shown in figure 6.32. So we can see here, define assignment, RA key, masked cost element, Assignment of cost elements for work in process and results analysis. So masked cost element results analysis key work in process. So using this example, you can state the following. If an order is created within controlling area, A000, and the result analysis version entered in the 
calculate WIP transaction is 0 and RA key on the production order is MBM F01 and order cost have posted to cost element 5150s then the amount will be determined as line ID mat and will be capitalized. So enter the line ID in the correct column to the far right to indicate the capitalization rule of the assets, the rule of the costs. Define update. Define each line ID must be assigned to a results analysis cost element in the setting which supports reporting in CO. Define posting rules for work in process. The GL account numbers posted to at settlement are defined in this setting. Define number ranges, number range control of the CO settlement document. So define number ranges. Number range control of the CO settlement documents examples of the definitions for each setting are listed in this table define results analysis key the transaction is okg1 and results analysis key mbm f01 text is wip actual cost define results analysis version ok z9 controlling area results analysis version post to fis define valuation method Controlling area, results analysis version, result analysis key, status, REL, DELV, PREL, TECO. So, w, uh, release WIP calculation on basis of actual cost. In DLV, cancel data of WIP calculation, calculation and results analysis and preliminary work. In process calculation on basis of actual cost, take a cancel data of value IP calculation and results. Analysis define line ID, controlling area, line ID, mat, text, material, cost. Examples of WIP configuration settings. So define assignment. It's in transaction OKZ5 okay, controlling area results analysis version results analysis keys and cost element and line ID. Define update transaction OKZ4 okay, and in addition to the above definition we are additionally updating category K and cost element and define posting rule OKG8 okay, and in Result analysis category, PNL and balance sheet accounts are added in this transaction. Using this chart, you can state the following simple example of the calculation process. If the results analysis key found on the order is MBM F01 and the results analysis version is 0, is used to calculate WIP which is entered in the execution transaction and the order status is REL then the actual order balance will be the basis for work in process if line ID mat represents material cost and there are material consumption costs debited to the order on cost element 511 or 51540 they will be classified as line ID Mat. Then material cost in WIP So then material cost in WIP will post to results analysis cost element 93 series in the work in process layout of KKBC ORD and the GL accounts 5, 4 series and 1, 3 series will be posted to at work in process settlement. So variance for controlling by order, the variance calculation measures control cost against target costs. During configuration, 
you can determine the meaning of the control cost and the target cost by assigning actual or plan as the control and a specific cost estimate as the target for controlling by order variances are calculated by category sap s4 hana provides eight categories of explains uh, eight categories of variance in this table uh, lists and explains these eight categories input variances result from the cost assigned to the order output variances result from the valuation of the material being produced on the order so there are eight categories input price input quantity resource usage remaining so input price difference between target and actual price of resources so input quantity difference between target and actual quantity of the resources resource uses use of an unplanned resource remaining all others including rounding category uh, so that is input variance output variance is lot size mixed price output price remaining difference between target and actual lot size of the material produced mixed price difference due to mixing ratio output price difference between the planned and actual price of the material produced remaining all others including rounding variance categories so as shown in this figure material master variance key is assigned to the material master if assigned variance categories will be calculated the variance key is created in the configuration select the optional separate indicator shown in the figure if you need to calculate scrap variance so this figure shows configuration so in if we see this figure material master variance key variance key is updated with the value and other configurations we can check in these figures variance key ok v1 so variance calculation on scrap and update right line items and variance configuration menu for order controlling so the following settings are important define variance keys creates the variance key as shown previously in figure check variance variant variant indicates which of eight variance categories to calculate as shown in this figure so default valuation variant for wip and scrap so this figure shows so indicates by priority which cost estimate to use in the scrap variance calculation define target cost versions defines the variance control cost and target cost of the variance calculation only one version can settle to fi version 0 the importance of target cost version is shown in figure is shown in this figure the target cost version brings together the variance and valuation variance and you can select the control and target cost in this example the control costs is indicated as actual costs meaning actual order values will be compared to target further the target costs are indicated as current standard cost estimate meaning control costs will be compared to standard costs this scenario is appropriate for version 0 the only version for settlement to fi so what if we also needed measure the difference between the order plan values and the current standard this information could explain 
differences in the costing variance used for each calculation in this case you should set control costs as plan costs and target costs as current standard cost estimate so if we see this figure we can see controlling area target cost version variance variant valuation variant for scrap actual costs and current standard cost now moving on to settlement the periodic calculated values for wip and variance are posted to FICO by executing the settlement process as shown back in figure 6.21 the order type contains a settlement profile this profile controls the overall settlement process so in the previous chapter we reviewed settlement profiles for internal orders settlement profiles for production orders are similar but in this section we will review some additional fields for integration with copa so the settlement profile shown in this figure controls the following whether the order can be settled indicates the receivers assign the following additional structures if required allocation structure and uh, pa transfer structure controls the following indicators that determine cost appropriation methods percentage amount equivalence numbers control indicator to settle variances to costing based copa determines the document type used in settlement posting controls the number of distribution rules allowed so to settle production variances to costing based copa you must select the indicator variances to costing based copa and select profit segment as an optional receiver otherwise you will receive an error at settlement the fi account determination for the posting of variance settlement is taken from the mm account determination settings the debit and credit account numbers are assigned to transaction pro for price difference modifier prf for price differences from orders an example by valuation class is shown in this figure so a single gl account is assigned in transaction omwb with this transaction you cannot break out values according to the eight variance categories so in sap s4 hana you can create an optional splitting profile to assign a gl account by variance category to find this well hidden setting in the configuration menu follow this path so financial accounting general ledger accounting periodic processing integration materials management define accounts for splitting price differences so the benefit of using a price splitting profile is having more granular detail posted to the gl rather than a single value in the account determination in transaction omw b so as shown in this figure a price splitting profile can be used to assign each of the eight variance categories plus scrap to separate gl account numbers then system will execute this process in two steps the total variance is posted to the gl account determined by transaction and the second posting offsets the amount posted via transaction omwb to the gl account specified by the price splitting profile if we see this price splitting profile we can see the splitting profile controlling area and the chart of accounts price difference splitting profile retail price differences we can see the categories in the cost element group and the target account
to post these same variances to value fields in the copa casting based copa a pa transfer structure is also required the fi account determination for posting work in process is taken from the define posting rules for work in process transaction and this figure shows example of this assignment so let us return to our actual order balance diagram shown in this figure to understand what occurs during settlement after periodic costing the actual order balance is $60 if the production order status is released or partially delivered then the dollar 60 will be calculated as work in process 3 if the work in process we can see the same thing in the figure showing dollar 60 in the highlighted row of 3 and um, and variance 4 can be passed to costing based copa by the variance category and to table ac doka by the price splitting profile so in closing let us review the costing phases and value flow for order controlling as shown in this figure preliminary costing simultaneous costing uh, periodic costs and final costing can pass this video and can check how the debit and credit is updated for these transactions so sales order related scenarios sales order related costing is a more focused costing method and requires detailed integration among the logistic components of SDPP and of course with CO. For example, if your company manufactures a product for a specific customer using a particular process, you may need to control the plan and actual values for production costs at, at the SDI level. Often the assemble to order and engineer to order production processes are used to support this type of requirement. From a cost object controlling perspective, these processes present some unique opportunities. Before reviewing how SAP S4 HANA features support this scenario, let us begin with some basic terms and features related to controlling by order. Make to order controlling. The following are features of make to order controlling. Manufacturing is for a specific customer. Quantities are produced for a specific sales. Um, sales order. Quantities cannot be reassigned to another sales order. So components can be pro procured for a specific SDI. MRP can create an independent requirement for SDI. Stock can be managed by the SDI. Two key MTO controlling scenarios exist. Without product cost by sales order. With product cost by sales order. So this figure shows the MTO controlling scenarios. So, without costing by sales orders, cost object. So, costing and revenue postings occur in real time. Sales order stock can be evaluated by the SDI cost estimate or the manufacturing preliminary cost. A production order is the cost object. WIP is based on the production order. So, cost object is production order without costing by sales order with costing by sales order sales order line item in this slide our focus is on the most common mto scenario with product cost by sdi with controlling by sales order comes the option to evaluate stock in several ways Valuated the quantity and the valuation of materials 
post at the same time goods movement post in real time because inventory is valuated period end settlement will post to costing based copa unvaluated the quantity and valuation are decoupled with valuation occurring separate from quantity no accounting posting with goods movement occur period end settlement will transfer co relevant production costs to the sdi results analysis method will determine settlement postings based on revenue based percentage of completion cost based percentage of completion and other system delivered methods so this table compare these options unvaluated stock is only possible with costing by sales order so if we see this table we can see the costing by sales order valuated stock unvaluated stock production variances calculate and settle to copa it is not applicable as sdi has actual cost cogs quantities sold with cost component split so in unvaluated stock at settlement of the sdi the flow is quantity reported is valuated with each goods goods receipt or goods issue so unvaluated stock quantity reported with each goods receipt or goods issue value reported with each invoice for goods or at settlement of the sdi so valuated versus unvaluated stock this table from in this table we can compare how the valuated stock works with costing by sales order and how unvaluated stock works with costing by sales order like our earlier overview of costing phases in the methods and valuation phases section valuation can occur at certain points in the overall co process preliminary costing simultaneous costing periodic costing final costing so sales order management is a bit more complex than our earlier management of other cost objects we can still align the costing phases to the sd sales order life cycle as follows pre sales customer inquires or uh, inquiries are made and quotes are produced in sd the second step is order processing an order is placed a customer and material are entered pricing and conditions calculate values in sd preliminary costing occurs in co procurement a determination is made about whether the material is in stock needs to be produced or is an mto material in so simultaneous costing occurs in co delivery the material is delivered to the customer and goods issue are posted in sd simultaneous costing occurs in co billing billing documents or invoices are for the delivered goods in sd simultaneous costing occurs and final costing can occur in co payment the customer remits payment for the invoice accounts receivable so these are the steps or costing phases which we can follow for sales order life cycle so pre sales order processing procurement delivery billing and payment 
requirements type each sales order item contains a requirements type which defines the planning strategy for production this setting is also an important indicator for co as it will determine the requirements class which we will discuss in the next section to view the requirements type navigate to the procurement tab of a sales order line item as shown in this figure when a sales order is created various parameters from the sdi are used to assign the requirements type once the requirements type has been determined sap s4 hana will then assign a requirement class to the sdi an overview of the determination of a requirements class from the requirements type is shown in this figure including the configuration transaction codes where each setting is determined transaction opps transaction ovz1 and transaction ovzh requirements type assign requirements class use the material master mrp3 strategy group or mrp1 mrp group so to assign the requirements type in the planning strategy so use mrp type and sdi item category to assign the requirements type so the both helps in assigning the requirement class the requirement type is assigned to the requirements class as shown in this figure so requirement types assigned to the requirements class the most important fields in the costing group are costing this field indicates if a sales order cost estimate is permitted required or prohibited costing id this field determines if the sales order cost estimate is created when saving the sales order is created and marked when saving the sales order or is created manually costing method this field determines if unique costing or product costing is used costing variant this field contains all control parameters for the cost estimate costing sheet this field determines the overhead calculation the most important fields in the account assignment group are account assignment category this fields determines if costs are collected on the sales so e sales order controlling is active with settlement at period end m sales order controlling is not active no costs are collected and no settlement occurs at period end valuation this field determines if the sales order stock is valuated or non valuated the options are as follows m sales order stock is valuated based on sdi or manufacturing order cost estimate valuated stock can be displayed using transaction mmbe a sales order stock is valuated based on the standard cost estimate of the material if it is blank sales order stock is non valuated settlement profile this field controls the settlement routine and is needed only if settlement is required results analysis key this field controls the valuation method of results analysis calculation at period end preliminary costing for controlling by sales order the costing method of the requirements class determines 
द मेथड ऑफ कैलकुलेटिंग प्लान कॉस्ट फॉर द एस डी आई द मेथड्स आर प्रोडक्ट कॉस्टिंग बै रेफरेंस टू ए बॉम अंड रउटिंग यूनिट कास्टिंग वित् नो रेफरेंस टू ए बॉम अंड रउटिंग सो यूनिट कास्टिंग अवटपुट ड नाट प्रोड्यूस ए कास्ट कांपोनेंट स्प्लिट देर फोर अनालिसी बै कास्ट कांपोनेंट इज पॉसिबल द वैल्युशन वेरियंट of the requirements class determines the plan costs for all resources including materials with individual requirements this plan value is then transferred to the production order used to manufacture the material revenue is also planned for the sdi based on the pricing conditions and procedures of the sales order simultaneous costing for controlling by sales order to understand the costing flow for this method you will need a foundation in how mrp indicators affect costing this integration point is important but you don't need comprehensive expertise some basic knowledge should suffice let's expand on the design of individual material requirements in the sales order controlling scenario on the material master mrp 4 tab locate the individual or collective as shown in the figure so we can see in this figure individual or collective indicator the individual or collective indicator plays a role in mrp in sales order controlling this indicator also signifies whether the material is treated as sales order stock sales order stock is indicated as individual requirements and is strictly assigned to the sdi that created the requirement this stock is evaluated separately from other stock quantity for the same material during simultaneous costing goods movements for sales order stock are not evaluated by the requirements class valuation variant rather the actual procurement cost is assigned for example if a raw material consumed in a sales bomb is treated as an individual requirement this material will be evaluated as sales order stock if the purchase order for this material is created at 100 dollar per piece the purchase order value will be the actual cost of the goods receipt and will be posted to the sdi non sales order stock is evaluated based on the requirements class costing variant and costing method as goods issue and goods receipt are reported the sdi is debited and credited for the values resulting in a balance on the cost object final costing for controlling by sales order at period and close the steps for final costing are executed these steps may include all or only some of the following template allocation if cost objects are senders of overhead via templates revaluation at actual prices the cost center activity prices are recalculated at actual overhead if cost objects are senders of overhead via costing sheets results analysis to apply the calculation for unfinished inventory or reserves and to reconcile copa and fi data based on the results analysis method settlement to set to post the result analysis to copa and fl we have already discussed these closing step with the exception of results analysis results analysis configuration is unique to sdi costing its purpose is similar to the results analysis key configuration for orders but more complex in this figure it shows an example of a definition for results analysis
Results analysis, method results analysis with status, TECO, state sales order cost estimate, define valuation methods for results analysis. In this view, you will define the following control parameters. Results analysis method determines revenue in excess of billing, capitalized cost and reserves. Here it is mentioned as 03. So it, it determines revenues in excess of billing, capitalized cost and reserves. Status control determines at which SDI status to calculate or reverse the result analysis method by selecting from the following. Here in the figure it shows results analysis with status is released. Final building technically complete profit basis determines which cost to use when calculating profitability. Valuation level determines if calculations are performed on the SDI total amount or by line ID as defined in configuration. If using line ID, amounts can be separated by material, labor, etc. Minimum values for the calculation determines if immaterial amounts are capitalized. Note, this assignment is by controlling area and result analysis version. Only result analysis version 0 can post to FI. So, valuation level and minimum values determines if immaterial amounts are capitalized. This assignment is by controlling area and result analysis version. Only result analysis version 0 can post to FI. In SAP S4 HANA, result analysis can calculate the following for sales order item. Inventory values, reserves, cost of sales. So in reserve, reserves, it is for unrealized cost, for imminent losses, for complaints or provisions. Cost of sales. These calculated values can update FI and COPA cost of sale. These calculated values can update, F, uh, can update FI and COPA settlement, COPA at settlement. Why is this necessary? Hasn't FI recognized revenue and costs? As billing and goods issue occurred, of course, FI has these postings, but the values were determined by the SD pricing condition and the price control of the inventory. The profit calculation is a simple equation. Revenue minus cost of sales equal to profit. FI lacks the tools to calculate reserves nor can FI provide complicated revenue recognition calculation? CO offers 17 predefined result analysis methods shown in the figure. Each method contains the rules for the specific calculation. For a better understanding of the purpose of results analysis, let us look at a basic calculation used in the method 0 and revenue based method. Results analysis method. There are 17 predefined result analysis method. Before we begin, understanding the acronyms used to identify the values will be helpful. So, A is for actual, P for plan, P A profitability analysis, R P A is revenue profitability analysis, C P A cost of sales profitability analysis, R A is revenue actual, R P revenue plan. C A cost actual cost planned POC percentage of completion. To calculate results analysis, the first step is to determine the percentage of completion. This value is based on SDI plan versus actual values for revenue, cost, and quantities. In other words, on any of the 17 methods shown in the figure. 6.50. Let us consider an example of method 0 when revenue based method. In this example, profit is determined by revenue POC multiplied with planned costs. 
the calculation steps are as follows percentage of completion comes with uh, revenue actual divided by revenue plan calculate the poc by dividing actual revenue by plan revenue revenue profitability analysis equal to revenue actual by revenue uh, revenue plan multiplied by revenue plan calculate the copa revenue so cpa is cost of sales profitability analysis so for this revenue actual divided by revenue plan multiplied with cost planned calculate the copa cost if ca is greater than cp then work in process equal to ca minus cpa else reserve equal to cpa minus ca if actual costs are greater than plan cost then work in process will equal the actual cost minus the calculated cost otherwise the reserve will equal the calculated cost minus the actual cost next let us assume the sdi contains the revenue and cost shown in this table revenue plan is 3000 dollars actual is zero cost is plan is 2000 dollars and actual is 1000 dollars so keep in mind that fi has already recognized this cost of 1000 dollars when the goods issue was posted now let us apply the calculation to the sdi values the results analysis calculation will involve the following steps poc will equal the actual revenue divided by the planned revenue in this example this value is 0% so dollar 0 divided by 3000 revenue for pa will equal poc into planned revenue so this value is 0 dollars by 3000 dollars into 3000 dollars cost for pa will equal poc into planned cost in this example this value is dollar 0 by 2000 dollars actual costs are greater than a pa cost so wip is calculated as difference in this example this value would be thousand dollars when this sdi is then settled the values previously posted in fi will be brought into alignment with this calculation the balance sheet will be adjusted for wip with a debit for thousand dollars the profit and loss offsetting account will be credited for thousand dollars this credit will counter the thousand dollars debit previously posted to cost of sales bringing the profit and loss impact to dollar zero so simply stated result analysis is a calculation to adjust fi postings to align them with revenue recognition rules in closing let us review the costing phases and value flow for sales order controlling as shown in the figure so sdi if preliminary costing requirements class costing variant by requirement class costing method divided by plan value of sdi fi posting no simultaneous costing debit quantity goods issue by price control 
and actual SDI balance FI posting as credit is plan value of SDI to COGS actual SDI balance FI posting is as periodic in periodic costs the debit will be template allocation revaluation at actual prices overhead costs so FI posting happens here but in production order the preliminary posting is plan value from SDI FICO posting no simultaneous costing FICO posting so simultaneous costing debit quantity goods issue by price control debit labor labor confirmation by simultaneous costing variant credit is quantity goods received by price control by actual order balance so final costing is calculate results analysis results analysis FICO posting no settlement FICO posting is so if material has individual requirements indicated on MRP 4 actual procurement cost is used for valuation SDI commitments are updated sales order stock quantity is updated production order period end follows the controlling by order scenario with this we have completed the cost object controlling topic and in next video we will see the related question and um, certification related question and answers related to this topic so thank you so much thank you so much for watching this video